Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It is for Sunday the 4th of April 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. Okay, so let's pull an angel card. What is the message for the day, please? Sunday the 4th of April 2021. Oh, I love it. Perfect timing. Something to do with perfect timing here. Divine timing. <clears throat> things happening when they're meant to happen okay what do we have Sunday the 4th of April 2021 for all signs it's for Sunday the 4th of April 2021 for all signs okay so I have the six of wands three of pentacles Oh, two cards there. <laughs> Ten of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Nine of Wands. So did I set Ten of Swords and the Knight of Wands and then I've got the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> we have the Three of Wands here. And the Chariot, Victory. Bottom of the deck we have the Page of Cups. It definitely feels for some of you a victory is within reach. You know, it's an energy of, and it's interesting because we've got the Nine of Wands and obviously the Ten of Wands is always a completion with the Minor Arcana. Some level of completion happening here. But it's like this Knight of Wands is bringing in what you've been working towards what you've been putting your energy and effort towards. Wow. There's a victory coming your way. There may well be one more thing to do, one more obstacle, one more I to dot, one more T to cross, call it what you will. It feels to do with money, career, finances. Um, and it feels that things are about to look up, but you're almost like one step away from that happening, from claiming a successful achievement and putting a challenge behind you. You know, this is the victory wreath. They're also wearing the victory wreath as well. Um, something about public recognition as well with this card, getting recognized, noticed. Um, a significant achievement, a significant victory and feeling pretty good about it. So even though there's an energy of being tired, wanting to give up, not really having full clarity on how something's going to pan out. You are closer than you think. And that's what you're being told because the victory, the success is within your grasp and it's over some kind of challenge. Yeah, so this is about keep on having that drive, keep on putting your energy in the right direction. And like I said, there's almost like one more thing to do, one more hurdle to overcome. I mean, you know, that could be anything from like aptitude tests or presentations or... Um, paperwork to do with something, you know, contracts to sign. I mean, you know, it could be a lot. It could be whatever this is. It's almost kind of like there's one final push, and then you're kind of like home dry. It feels lovely because we have the success is coming. The three of pentacles can be can represent a business partnership. It can also represent the beginnings of success could be in a new company um, it can be a card of teamwork collaboration but it feels in this situation that there is the beginnings of success and it's coming your way your ships are coming in they're not quite there yet like I said there's one more hurdle to go but it doesn't feel far actually things happen when they're meant to happen and that's what you're being told today something will happen here when absolutely the time is right and it feels quite imminent for some of you. But yeah, I love this. The beginnings of material success and it's coming. What you've been putting your energy and effort and action towards, things are opening up for you. There is the beginnings of progress that you can see on the horizon. Uh, it's not quite in the harbour yet, but you can see that ship coming in. I love the energy there. So, and then there we have it. The Ten of Swords is the dark 
<laughs> it can be the dark cloud that's been hanging over you. That's what I'm seeing. Some dark cloud that you've been dealing with and that was what you're putting behind you. Uh, you're so close to putting behind you now because there is a new day, a new dawn rising, pushing away that darkness. The sun is beginning to break through. Um, it's like the night is over, the dawn is rising. Of quite a hurtful time. You know, this Ten of Swords can be about betrayal, hurt, deep wounds, or something that has just... It can also be, you know, about a crisis. Some kind of crisis that you might have experienced. Um, but you're putting it behind you. You know, the Knight of Wards is somebody who gets back on the horse and is all fired up. You know, they charge ahead. But it feels like there's a green light here to do with some kind of opportunity. Um, the night brings in the offer, the opportunity. Uh, so there's definitely an energy of what you've been working towards. There's the final, there's the final thing, the final offer, the final opportunity coming your way. Feels very beautiful and exciting and empowering the Knight of Wands because there's growth attached with that wand. So lovely, lovely energy. And again, another victory card claiming a significant success. And you know, this page of cups is, pages represent the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, but it feels like there's a message that brings you joy here. Um, it does, it feels like there's some message that brings you joy and I feel it's in form of some kind of opportunity because the chariot is a card of victory, success and it can be over a challenge again. So there's definitely an energy of, yes, this is somebody eyes on the prize to victory and success. Lovely, lovely energy here. It finally means that finally something is over there's an end to it and you're not looking back. You're getting back on, on the horse and charging ahead with a new opportunity. And again, this is a card of success, determination, action, willpower, most definitely. It feels like your test of faith, your, your faith has been tested here. It's a test of faith, some of these cards. But finally, there's definitely, you can see the first signs of success coming and things happen when they're meant to happen. Now, it definitely feels for some of you is the time. Love the energy. Love the energy. Wow. So remember, my readings can resonate a few days after when they're released. Divine timing and all that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it feels like you're going to have the balance restored. So we have Panda balance. Ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. It feels like this is about balance being restored because the chariot pulls the black and white sphinxes into balance. Um, I'm going to pull one more card for the day. Any other message, please? Any other message for the day, please? 4th of April, 2021. Any other message, please? Thank you. So we have polar bear nurture. Allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. It feels for some of you, you will be able to release something that's caused you anxiety and worry because you're getting the balance back and it feels in terms of some kind of monetary... Um, like I said, partnership, or it can be to do with jobs... Definitely feels in this energy that there is some exciting opportunity coming your way. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.